Good news. Yeah. So the, uh, keep a good thought for all those folks there. And you can see, you just pulled up that graphic, yes, Lauren. Yes, I just pulled this up right now. Uh, and you can see those winds are 90 miles per hour right now, but we're moving northwest. And as you guys mentioned too, uh, Hurricane Fiona has made landfall in the Dominican Republic this morning. So we're keeping so a good thought. So that's where it is like right now. It is there right now. Yeah. It is wow. there right now. It's just um, devastating. It's just absolutely devastating. And Puerto Rico really did get slammed by the storm. Uh, now you could see the track of this storm yeah. looks once again to curve off to the east. So the latest guidance keeps showing it further east uh, away from us on the east coast, which is good news for us. Obviously, we could be seeing some riptide and some high surf because of this storm, but right now that looks to be it. Of course, we're going to be keeping you updated, though, because of course, you never know. The storm could veer to the right, west. It could. Is, this is one path. This right. is one right. One, you know, guidance right now. So we'll be keeping you posted, of course, on this. All right. But as Wendell mentioned and Caitlin mentioned, let's get closer to home. You could see much different uh, situations out here. So the dew points are muggy this morning and sticky and it's feeling very warm out there. It's feeling very summer like just like yesterday. Yesterday was a very, very warm feel. So you had the t-shirt on yesterday, the shorts on. I'm going to continue that for today, but then once we get towards tomorrow and Wednesday, those temperatures dip down a little bit and then Friday, Saturday looking cool. High temperatures are only going to be in the mid to upper 60s for Friday and Saturday. So what a difference, right? All right, we've got the big E going on. I know a lot of people have been traveling to it. I know Wendell went there this past weekend. Uh, temperatures are going to be nearing 80 degrees for today, but you can see right around three o'clock, especially in Massachusetts, we're expecting that potential for some thunderstorms here. It's going to be a little bit more isolated to late Later in the evening, we're talking about the sunset and after seeing that threat for some showers and some storms. Our early warning pinpoint Doppler, you could see scanning the state completely dry right now. And those headlines today, it's going to be partly sunny and muggy until we see that potential for some showers and some thunder. And then more storms and showers for Thursday morning. Now, this timing has shifted because on Saturday it was looking more like the evening. Now it's looking like for the morning commute. So we'll be keeping you posted, of course, on that. All right, here's a look at our early warning weather future cast. You can see through this afternoon a mix of sun and clouds until later this evening. That's when that line of storms kind of just runs right through. So that's why that northwest corner has the greatest threat of seeing some of those strong to severe conditions. We could be seeing some gusty, even damaging wind gusts, as well as that threat for some just very quick but heavy rainfall that could create uh, some downpours. So into tomorrow, you could see things are pretty quiet until the afternoon. Once again, we've got the chance maybe for a couple isolated showers. I'm not looking at this as a big deal. Uh, as well, but we'll be keeping you posted and then into Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be quiet. It's going to be sunny and temperatures will be in the upper 70s. All right. Yes, this is what I was talking about. That strong to severe threat specifically in that northwest corner. That's where in that level one risk. So we'll be keeping you posted. Here's a live look in New London. 67 degrees out there. It is a muggy feel this morning and here's a live look in Waterbury. Pretty quiet out there on the roads. I know Caitlin's been mentioning that old Saybrook. We're taking you around the state and uh, yeah, when once again, not a whole lot going on. Temperatures are in the 60s and even the 70s. Really a mild feel out there. 73 degrees in New Haven. I mean, I didn't even need a sweater or jacket this morning. Dew points in the 60s. And you can see that seven day forecast shows us temperatures in that for 70s for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We've got that front moving through. Autumn officially kicks off at 9.04 p.m. And then Look at that difference into Friday. I mean, much cooler, 65 degrees with a breeze. It will feel even cooler than that. The weekend so far, though, uh, big thumbs up for the weekend. It's looking good. A good amount of sunshine and temperatures in the upper 60s and the low 70s. So we'll be keeping you posted on that. But Caitlin.